In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use GIMP to make this image of a torn photograph. This is the image that we'll be starting with. Let's start by adding a background. So go down here and click on this button to add a new layer. And the layer fill type can be set to transparency. And then select the bucket fill tool and change the color to a light blue color. And then click somewhere in the center here to fill this in. And now move this to the bottom by using the down green arrow. And now we're going to scale this image down a little bit. So select the top layer and then select the scale tool and click on the image. And then you can just grab one of the corners and drag this to scale it down. And then you can click on the center here and position this in the middle. And then click on the scale button. And now we're going to add a white border around the outside of this image. So click on the rectangle select tool and then draw a rectangle around the outside of this. And then add a new layer by pressing this button. And the layer fill type should be set to transparency. And then select the bucket fill tool and set the color to white. And then fill in the selected area. And then next, move this white area down one level by clicking on this green down arrow. And then we can merge these top two layers together. So right click on the top layer and select Merge Down. And then next we're going to start cutting up our photo. So go over here and select the Free Select tool that looks like a lasso. And then starting at the top, just drag down where you want this to be cut. And then you can release the mouse button. And then pull this up and just click the mouse button and release it and then come back over to the starting point and click again and that'll finish the selection. And we want this cut to be a rough cut. So we can roughen it up by going to the Select menu and select Distort. And you can just use the default values here and press OK. And then next we want to move this selected area off to the side a little bit. So go to the Edit menu and select Cut, and then go to the Edit menu and select Paste. And then you can position your cursor on top of this piece and drag it off to the side. And later we'll be rotating this piece, but for right now we just want to move it out of the way. And now after we've moved this piece, if you notice over here we have a new floating layer selection. So we need to anchor this layer, so you can do that by pressing the Anchor button right here. And now let's cut another piece out of this photo. We still have the Free Selection tool enabled, so we'll just drag this across here, and then again we'll just click a couple of times until we get back to our starting point. And then just like before, we'll roughen the edges by going to Select, and select Distort, and then press OK. And then go to the Edit menu and select Cut, and then go to the Edit menu and select Paste. And then move this piece out of the way. And then again we need to anchor this floating selection, so we'll hit the Anchor button. And let's make one more cut to our photo. So we'll just come down along here and then finish the selection. And then go to the Select menu and select Distort. And then press OK. And then go to Edit, Cut, Edit, Paste move this out of the way, and then anchor our floating selection. 
Now the next thing that we're going to do is to add another layer. So we'll click on this button. And the layer fill type for this one will also be set to transparency. And we want to move this layer just below our photograph, but we want it to be above this blue background. So we just need to hit the green down arrow one time. And then next, come over here and select the paintbrush tool and set the brush to a hard brush. And so I'll use this one right here. And this brush is Hardness 100. And then set the size of the brush to about 50. And then come down here and check the box next to Apply Jitter. And now when we use this brush, we'll get a rough edge. And now make sure that you have the middle layer on that we just added. And then come over here to the photo and add a thin edge next to this torn edge right here. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And as a matter of fact, we want it to be kind of random. And then I found it's easier to start at the very end of the photograph and then work your way towards the center. Now, if this were a real photograph that were torn, what you would find is a lot of times some of the paper would separate and it would peel the photograph off of the top of the paper while leaving some of the paper underneath still intact. And so that's what we're doing right here. But to make this look realistic, we only want this to be on one side. So if we're adding this paper effect to this right side, then we don't want it to be on the left side. So I just have one more edge that I need to do right over here. And then again, I'm going to start on the edge and work my way inward. Okay, and that looks good. This white border that we just added is a nice smooth white color, but we want to roughen up the color a little bit to make it look like it was actually torn. So to do that, right click on the middle layer here and select Alpha to Selection, and then add another layer by pressing this button. And again, we want a transparent layer. And then select the Bucket Fill tool and select a light gray color. And then fill in the selected area. And then come up here and change the mode from Normal to Dissolve and then set the opacity to about 50%. And now we can turn off the selection by going to the Select menu and select None. So now if we zoom in on this white border now, you can see that it looks roughened up a little bit and it gives the impression that it's been torn. So now I'll zoom back out again by going to the View menu, select Zoom, and Fit Image in Window. And now let's go up to the very top layer and let's merge this with the bottom two layers. So right click on the top layer and select Merge Down and then do that one more time. And now we're ready to move some of these pieces around. But first we need to put them each on a different layer. So to do that, go back over to the Free Select tool, click on that, and then draw a selection around each of these pieces. And we'll start with this one right here. And then with this selected, I need to go to Edit, Cut, Edit, Paste, right click on this and select To New Layer. And this selection is now on a new layer. Now go back down and select the original layer again, and then use the Free Select tool and select this piece right here. And then we'll go up to the Edit menu and select Cut, and then Paste, 
and then right click on the floating selection and select to new layer. So we'll do this one more time. Select the layer that has the original photograph on it and then use the select tool and outline this piece. And then back over to the edit menu again and select cut and then paste and then on the floating selection right click and select to new layer. And now each piece is on a different layer. So let's start by moving the piece that's on the middle layer. So select the middle layer and then select the rotate tool which is this button right here and then click on the piece that we're rotating and then you can grab in this grid area and you can rotate the piece. And then press the rotate button. And then you can select the move tool, which is this button right here. And then you can drag this piece over. And now let's go up to the next layer. And we'll do the same thing. We'll select the rotate tool, which is this tool right here. We'll click on the piece that we're going to rotate and then we'll just turn this a little bit and then press the rotate button and then we can select the move tool and move this into position and then we'll select the top layer and do the same thing so we'll select the rotate tool we'll rotate this layer and then press rotate and then select the move tool and then move this piece over. And then the next thing we're going to do is to add a drop shadow behind all of these pieces to give it some depth. So let's start with the lowest layer that has the photograph on it, which is the second one from the bottom. And then go to the filters menu and select light and shadow and then select drop shadow. And we can use all the default values here, so then just press OK. And then go up to the next layer and select it. And then go to the Filters menu again. And since the Drop Shadow filter is the last filter that we used, we can find it right here at the top. And we just need to select Repeat Drop Shadow. And then go up to the next layer. Then go to the Filters menu and repeat drop shadow and then we can do that one more time go to the very top go to the filters menu and repeat drop shadow and then the final thing that we can do is to merge all of these layers together and we can do that by going to the image menu and select flatten image and now we have our torn photo image well that concludes this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment.